Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, guys? This is your brother Zakai Al Zaki. Today, I will speak about a very powerful topic that is uh, trending worldwide right now and is about to happen. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, fast approaching. You know what I'm saying? Easily and arguably the biggest fight in combat history. Conor McGregor versus, you know, Floyd Money Mayweather, and many people think that is, you know, that is going to be watched, you know, in the U.S., mainly Europe, you know what I'm saying, some of the countries in Asia, but not so much in the Middle East or in the Arab countries or community, which is um, 100% wrong, you know what I'm saying, it's, Arabs in general are just as much interested in combat, you know, sports, just like any other person, you know what I'm saying? And we love fighting, you know what I'm saying? We grew up, I hate to say it, with fighting, you know what I'm saying? I myself, I mean, I speak for myself, from elementary school up until high school in Saudi Arabia, I've been bullied many times, I've been fighting so many times, I've fought people, you know, I, I kicked ass, got my ass kicked so many times, you know what I'm saying, many people think, oh, you know what I'm saying, in countries, in, in countries like Saudi Arabia, fighting isn't popular, of course it's not in terms of being a sport, you know what I'm saying, because soccer is the main sport in Saudi Arabia, I mean, a lot of people play soccer, we don't have boxing, we don't have, you you know, mixed martial arts, obviously. But are we interested in the sport? Absolutely. Do we love combat sports? Absolutely. Do we watch combat sports? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of fans from Saudi Arabia. There are many fans in the Middle East and the Gulf region that watch UFC. There are many people who are from Saudi Arabia, like myself, and from my city, that are watching boxing, you know what I'm saying? So just like there are fans all over the, the world that watch combat sports, that love Conor McGregor and love Floyd Mayweather, we also are a fan of the sport. Not necessarily a fan of these two fighters, there are many are you know there are many fans of Conor McGregor of, of course due to his personality and the way he promotes for himself. But as far as Floyd, for some reason he is one of the hated personalities in the Middle East for some reasons. You know what I'm saying? He's you know not a good of a person in terms of reputation. You know his reputation isn't really up to its you know what I'm saying? Um, this is why I made this video just to put my thoughts on the fight. I think it's gonna be a great fight. Definitely a watchable fight, you know what I'm saying? And many people around the world is gonna be watching, including Saudi Arabia, including, you know, the Gulf region, including a lot of countries in the Middle East is on their list for sure. Who are we rooting for, though? It depends on the individual. You know what I'm saying? Some will root for Connor. Some will go for Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Many people think Connor cannot beat a 49 and no. Arguably the best boxer, this and that. And do with experience, Floyd has a boxing, you know, advantage. You know what I'm saying? Since he's been fighting in a boxing ring and with the boxing rules. But, you know, also Conor has an advantage when it comes to age, youth, reach advantage, height advantage. You know what I'm saying? Still a competitor that is not to be a underestimated by any means. But let me give you my thoughts on what do we think about who is going to win to be quite honest i've seen floyd money mayweather making a lot of excuses when he was making the world tour and when he was uh, making those interviews he kept saying i'm not the same person two years ago i'm not the same fighter when i was 
20 years ago, 15 years ago, he kept saying that, that gives a notion and gives a heads up, like, guys, I'm about to lose. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm not the same fighter I was two years ago, five years ago. I believe a fighter should never say that. It's not a good mental preparation. If you're about to fight, why would you tell your fans and why would you tell your supporters or what would you tell anyone who's going to watch the fight that you're not 100%? You know what I'm saying? It's not a good idea. I mean, like, I know you... I mean, even if you're truly not the same person you were two years ago, even if you're not the same fighter you were 10, 15 years ago, which is obviously true. You know what I'm saying? He's in his 40s. But you should not be saying that in public. You should not be saying that to the media. You should not be telling your fans and everyone is watching that you know what i'm saying because mentally you break you know what i'm saying you're not confident you should be saying yes i am still the most dominant boxer of all time i'm still going to be conor mcgregor but just that idea alone of him saying he's not the same fighter he was i don't like that you know what i'm saying i think he's um i hate to say it but i think he's getting ready to lose for the first time ever to Conor McGregor, you know what I'm saying? He said he's he also said, you know, with an interview recently, go check it out with uh, Stephen A. Smith, the ESPN uh, reporter. He said he's gonna walk away with the ring even if he loses with a big smile on his face, happy, you know. Of course he will, you know. I got living with a three hundred million dollar in one single fight. No one can ever make that much of money at any single event, let alone a boxing match, you know. So I believe, this is my take on it, you know, a guy from Saudi Arabia, I believe. And unfortunate, um, I think Conor McGregor is going to win this one. I know it sounds crazy for someone who never been in a boxing ring, who never fought uh, under the boxing rules, but uh, I believe he's going to shock the world, you know, and Floyd even knows it, for him saying he's not the same person, same, he's not the same fighter, I believe he's going to shock the world, you know, this is just my take on it, under the fight, please guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button, because there are so many great content that is coming your way, I'm, uh, I'm going to upload a lot of my workout videos, show you a little bit of my transformation. If you guys saw my tough enough videos, you know, I was skinny at that at the time, you know, you know, I was uh, having uh, some stress issues and stuff. That's why I kind of lost like 15 pounds. So I'm going to show you my transformation from that time when I shoot, when I shot the video of tough enough up until this point. Which I still, you know, have my ups and downs, and I did a competition and lost 20 pounds in it, you know, cut cut down a lot, and I regained some of that back. But please stay tuned, guys, and make sure you, you know, keep up to date by comment, likes, and subscribe to the channel. Great content is gonna come, and please comment below who do you think is gonna win. You know what I'm saying? I already said it's going to be Connor, and fortunately, we'll put that out there because just the confidence, this is the confident level Floyd bringing. He shouldn't be saying that. And the confident level also Connor bringing. You know what I'm saying? He's so confident, and I think he's uh, going to do something never been done before. I'll add you later.